Hi, I'm Chris Bradshaw from Hexagon. Previously, we ran the static stress analysis in our piping system and identified that there was an issue with excessive stress in the expansion load case. During this video, we'll take a look at how we can rectify that situation and resolve that excess stress to achieve a fully code compliant piping system. So just as a reminder, uh, remember in the last video, we saw that we have the overstress situation down here at the pump nozzle connections caused by, if we view the display shape, caused by the thermal expansion of this very long leg. So we need to do something to resolve and reduce the effects of this thermal expansion of this long leg. There's various different ways that we can achieve this. One common and quite simple way though is to add an expansion loop. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to close the 3D plot. I'm going to do this using the inner X on the on the window here, which returns back to the tabular results for the output. And I'm going to use this button here to jump straight back to the input. Right, so with our expansion loop that we're going to add, there's two questions really that we need to, to answer. Where can we place the loop and how big does the loop need to be to achieve what we want to achieve? For the where do we want to place the loop, um, we're going to locate it here, between somewhere between these two guide supports here. Caesar 2 does include features to help make this decision easier. Um, we can import the model, we can import either a CADWorks or a Smart 3D model into the background as a reference so the pipe is displayed in context with the surrounding model, helping us as the analyst to make a more informed decision as to what space we've got available to uh, position the uh, expansion loop in this case or whatever change it may be. However, for this demonstration example here, I'm going to do that simply by adding some new nodes into this run here. So again, I'm just going to turn the tooltips off. And on this four meter leg here, what I'm going to do is add a couple of new nodes to create a new element, which will then be replaced by the expansion loop. So I'm selecting element 30 to 40, and I'm going to right click and go to break the element. I'm going to insert a new node, but it will not be node number 35. Otherwise, I'm going to uh, start to run short of node numbers here. So I'm going to actually go to call this node number 500. And it's not going to be two meters away from node 30 in the middle. It's just going to be one meter away from node 30, like so. So if I just turn on the node numbers, here is node 500. And then on this three meter leg, 500 through to 40, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to break, and this time I'll call this node number 600. And this will be two meters away from node 500. Okay, so instead of 30 to 40 being four meters long, I've got 30 to 500, one meter, five to six, two meters, and 600 to 40, one meter. And 500 to 600 is what we are going to replace with the expansion loop. Now to do that, we're going to use Caesar 2's expansion loop wizard. Therefore, Caesar 2 can automatically design us this expansion loop without any necessary input from us other than the required target value. Caesar 2's expansion loop wizard uses the existing results as a starting point. Now, we've just made a change to our model by adding in these two node numbers. Now, it's not a change that's going to affect the results. However, we've made a change, so we need to rerun the analysis. We can do this very quickly using the batch run function here, which is this button here, the double running man. So just hit batch run. Batch run will run the error checker. If there are zero errors, then that will immediately kick in the analysis with the current load cases.
Okay, so the results will be exactly the same as before. Let's just remind ourselves by checking the stresses report for the expansion load cases and view this on screen. Okay, so our allowable is 285 megapascals. So that's an important value there because we're going to need that for the target value for the expansion loop. So I'm just returning back to the input and I'm going to minimize the classic piping input and use instead the loop optimization wizard panel by hitting this button just above the graphics window optimization wizard to activate the loop wizard. So the loop wizard will design us an expansion loop based upon a target value that we specify. So our situation that we wish to resolve is a stress situation. You can also choose restraint as well. And it is in load case number five. That displays then in the table the stress levels throughout the model. As you can see, shown in red are the overstress places. And remember, our allowable was 285 megapascals. So we don't want to hit that exactly, so we're going to have a bit of leeway here. So let's go to, let's say, go back down to 200 megapascals. And we can, as soon as we type that in, the table is filtered to display all locations, all node numbers where we are exceeding 200 megapascals. And we can then specify, okay, a specific node number where we or a specific element or I can tick this box to say no I want the max stress anywhere in the model to be below or at 200 megapascals okay so then okay where do we want to create the expansion loop well we've already created the element 500 to 600 so we select here the element 500 to 600 and then what type of loop so we can have a flat loop which is at the start a flat loop which is at the end of the selected element, one that's in the middle and that's the one I'm going to choose. You can also choose a expansion loop which is the full width of the selected element and you can also add vertical legs as well. If you're not sure which is the most efficient, which is the best type of loop to use, you can use this last option here which will try each of those loop types individually and suggest you the most efficient loop based upon a relative bend cost factor which you can also specify here. If you wish you can also limit the height to width ratio so I'm going to say the height of the loop, the, the lengths of the legs, will be two times the width of the loop. And then the final thing to specify is what space is available to insert the loop. So if you hit on the draw cube button a cube is displayed in the graphics and we can adjust this using the grips to stretch it whichever way you wish the loop to be positioned. Again, this may be a situation where having the CAD model in the background would be useful so you can specify the space envelope and this is the space envelope where the loop will fit. So here I'm going to stretch this 1.8 meters of, of space in the Z direction. I've got here so you can also adjust these values here if I wish to have, let's say, two meters of space. We can do that and the cube is redrawn. And then all that's left to do is hit design. Now what Caesar 2 will do, it will internally build the biggest loop it can within the space envelope that was provided and then run the analysis. If the, in the RK stress, if the highest stress in the system is below the target value, then we know we can achieve what we want to achieve. So Caesar 2 will then iterate and achieve the most efficient loop possible. You'll see this number on the converging line get closer and closer to the target value. And after six iterations in this instance, the target has been achieved. We've added 3.165 meters of pipe and four bends. And when you hit OK, the loop is inserted into the model. Now, you may wish to add some additional support here, but for this 
a simple example I'm going to leave as is and I'm just going to go straight and hit the batch run to run the analysis and when the results appear the first thing you'll notice is low case 5 the expansion case is no longer in red meaning we have resolved our overstress situation so if I just view one more time the stresses report you can see yeah we're at 70.7 percent at node number 90 and the stress level is 199.9 megapascals based on a target of 200. I hope you found that useful but if you do have any further questions please don't hesitate to reach out to us at Hexagon. Thank you for watching.